Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel for another tropical uh, weather update. And today we're looking at the southwestern Pacific as unfully tropical cyclone Yasa or Yase Yasa, which is going to be calling it tropical cyclone 05B, is continuing to strengthen now a category one equivalent a hurricane 75 mile per hour uh, right now heading towards Fiji. So we're going to be seeing pretty major impacts there as well. We now have tropical cyclone Yazu which does really seem to be having trouble and should be weakening from there on, or at least maintaining its intensity. But you can see that it's really getting stretched out here and isn't. it's not having it's having quite a bit of trouble with the outflow from uh, 05P here. So it's going to be struggling quite a bit in the next couple of days. Other than that, we have a pretty quiet um, Indian and Western o uh, Ocean here. As you can see, we have quite a bit of moisture in the Indian Ocean here where a couple of storms could spin up. But really, we're not seeing really anything to look for. We do have maybe some slight rotation uh, here, but nothing really that we're looking that could potentially develop. Again, over the Philippines, just quite a bit of moisture as you would typically see. Uh, so just overall, quite a bit of moisture helping to feed those two tropical cyclone here. So this is the current cone of uncertainty, I guess, or the, the the cone for the storm, and it's not it's not looking too good. We've seen a trend towards the north, which means now that Fiji is looking more and more likely to get strong impact from this. Now the storm is currently located right here; it's going to be moving like this, and so as you can see, it formed here and actually did a it actually let me tr it actually did a loop right here. It went like this. And it's expected to be doing a loop and then going over Fiji. Now, the storm originally was from 04P and was expected to go like this, right? But then 04P and 05P actually kind of merged into each other here. And so now this is actually 05P. This is a rotation from 05P, which is heading towards Fiji. So what do we have currently? We have a 70, I believe it's 70 now. Yeah, we have a 75 mile per hour uh, tropical cyclone here with this storm. According, or actually according to this, yeah, this is like a 70 to 75 mile per hour, depending on what website you're looking at. So we're looking at a category one, obviously, uh, Atlantic equivalent. So the storm is expected to informally strengthen quite a bit here. As you can see, 75, 85, 90, 95, and 100 knots. So that's 115 mile per hour landfall or 190 kilometers per hour, I believe, in Fiji. And the, the bad thing is that the center of the storm itself is going to be going right over the main city, Nada or Nadi. So that is, you know, <coughs> sorry, that is some pretty bad news because we're going to be seeing the worst of the storm affecting the entirety of this island. Other than that, um, other bad news is it's pretty much stalling over the same area, right? The storm has been stalling pretty much over the square right here. It hasn't been moving a whole lot. And so this is going to be allowing it to strengthen because after this line right here, after this line of latitude here, the water gets really cold. Uh, and really, the water starts to drop after this line. So with the storm kind of just staying up north, a little bit farther north where we're getting, you know, around 28, 27 degrees Celsius, the storm is able to get that, get that momentum, get that hot water, get everything it needs, get that moisture for the storm to really start to build itself up. And as it starts to move towards Fiji here, it's going to be able to continue to slowly in to intensify into a strong tropical cyclone. If we look at the uh, imagery here, uh, and this is the IR imagery, you can see that the storm is trying to form, well, at least was trying. It had an eye, and that eye has now, uh, looks to have slightly collapsed. Uh, I don't think it's too much of a dry intrusion, although it could be, but you can see right here the center rotation. And there's a possibility that we've seen a dry intrusion with the storm here, as you can see from that that spot right here where we're getting some. Looks to be a, a kind of failure in convection at that specific area. So that is a possibility of dry intrusion. But, I mean, the storm looks still to be strengthening. It was looking a little bit better earlier, but I think it will blow back up here. The eye collapsed a little bit, but we still have, you know, it's it's still looking all right, and I do think it's just a little bit of a dry air and sheer intrusion. If we look at the um, this imagery here, I mean, you can see that the storm just looks a lot better on that one. <coughs> uh, you can see, once again, you've got this very... Actually, if we look at this here in the visible, it doesn't really look like... Much of our problem. You've got some really nice banding to the south and the north here. 
you can see really like how much it's getting pulled in here. Uh, you know, I mean, a very good tropical cyclone. And actually, the eye seems to be really trying to form down the center here. So we have a very powerful looking tropical cyclone moving very slowly. It seems generally eastward. And obviously, it's going to take that turn through the south. And, you know, you're already getting bands here coming through Fiji. And so the storm just looks very, very powerful. <coughs> As we look at some of the models for the system here, you can see here that most have shifted a little bit back to the south, where yesterday the models were more up here. So we might see a slight shift in the track here, a slight shift here right off the coast of the island, or right now the coast is it right here. So we might see a slight shift. Other than that, landfall seems to be occurring in the next 72 hours or so. Same thing here. This is the GFS assemble. And once again, it shows again, the trend has been that we're seeing a little bit less models here affecting with the eye going over the island directly and the overall consensus is just right off and 956 mile bar so we could be seeing a very very strong storm lastly this is really why the storm has been strengthening so much it's currently located right around here and it so it's in actually 29 to 30 degrees and so as it moves towards fiji it's going to still be having very good waters until you know quite a bit so thanks for watching this tropical weather update i have more updates on the storm and this could be a very powerful uh impact and we're gonna have to monitor it very very very